My greatest idol is Beyonce. The first thing I saw, you know, was her beauty and how beautiful she was. And then I listened to her music and I loved her music. She's incredibly talented. I think she's what every female artist should strive to be or strive to be like. Well, Rihanna doesn't speak so highly of Beyonce anymore. And as it turns out, it's because Bay can't stand Riri. But what could Rihanna possibly have done to make Bay completely blacklist her? So when Rihanna started out, she was actually a huge fan of Beyonce, just like millions of people back in the day. So I hear that you're um, a big fan of Beyonce. I love her. Rihanna even said that Beyonce used to frequently give her advice and even once wrote her a letter. And so has she given you any kind of advice or? or... Yeah, she actually wrote me this cute little letter and she signed it with her autograph. It was so cute. Um, when I first met her and she wrote, um, she was telling me, just let loose when you perform and just have fun and be in control. Now we all know that for years, there have been countless rumors about how Beyonce can't stand when another woman singer gets more attention than she does. Let's just say that once Rihanna started becoming more popular than Beyonce, Queen Bey felt threatened, and that is when the beef began. It actually became very clear that there was a problem when Beyonce released her song, Bow Down, seemingly telling every other woman artist, including Rihanna, that they needed to bow down cause she's the queen. Apparently, Rihanna responded to Bay telling the other artists to bow down by writing, I only know how to be number one. I could use a challenge. How'd that feel down there on your knees, huh? She also reposted an article that said that she was the queen of pop and captioned her post, quote, it's only March people. Hashtag 2013 is already owned. Hashtag stay tuned, end quote. And after those comments, the beehive slammed Rihanna because they saw the post as a response to Bay. Then shortly after, Beyonce posted what appeared to be a subtle response to Rihanna's post. She posted a photo of her and her daughter Blue Ivy's matching chairs for her sold out The Mrs. Carter Show. Speaking of Bow Down, can you believe that the song was actually written for Rihanna and not Beyonce? Songwriting brothers Rock City, the same ones that wrote Rihanna's hit songs Man Down, We Can't Stop, and Replay revealed in a podcast that they wrote the song in nine minutes for Rihanna, and when she didn't take it, they passed it over to Beyonce. Funny thing is that Beyonce gave a very detailed account of how she came up with the song. Just listen. The reason I put out Bow Down is because I woke up, I went into the studio, I had a chant in my head. It was aggressive, it was angry. It wasn't the Beyonce that wakes up every morning. It was the Beyonce that was angry. It was the Beyonce that felt the need to defend herself. And if the song never comes out, okay, I said it. And I listened to it after I finished and I said, this is hot. I'ma put it out. I'm not gonna sell it. I'ma just put it out. People like it, great. They don't, they don't. Basically, she lied. And that wouldn't be the first time they lied about writing a song. Y'all remember how she said she wrote Irreplaceable and Neo checked her? Oh, and All Night? That was another song that Rihanna rejected that got picked up by Beyonce. So another reason why Beyonce can't stand Rihanna is because even though Beyonce has been in the industry longer, Rihanna has sold more records than she has by far. Riri is actually one of the best selling artists of all time, managing to sell over 250 million records. On the other hand, Beyonce has just sold 100 million records, which is also impressive. But when compared to Riri's 250 million, eh, not so much. When it comes to business, Beyonce also doesn't compare to Rihanna, who launched Fenty Beauty at Sephora in 2017 to massive commercial success. In fact, the brand brought Rihanna 570 million in revenue after just the first 15 months. Rihanna then officially became a billionaire in 2021 thanks to her Fenty Beauty clothing and lingerie, putting her once again ahead of Beyonce. And then there's Beyonce's Ivy Park that has just been tanking in sales so much so that Adidas is canceling the collab. Apparently, even when it comes to popularity, as much as Beyonce has more followers on social media, according to Google search, Rihanna is ultimately the more searched, more popular, and more widely known pop star of the two. You can see here that within the United States and South Africa, Beyonce is more known, but Rihanna is more known everywhere else in the world. Is it possible that Beyonce also can't stand Rihanna because even Riri's relationship is better, being that hers is less toxic? But even before that, it's always been said that Bay had a problem way back when her own husband, Jay-Z, became fond of Rihanna. In 2005, when Rihanna's song, Pawn the Replay, came out, it immediately attracted the attention of Jay-Z, who had just become the CEO and president of Def Jam Records. And according to Rihanna, that was the best thing that happened to her at the time. Working with Jay and having a collaboration with him, 
is it's just one of those things that everyone dreams to do in their musical career. And here I am at 19 years old with the number one single and featuring Jay-Z. It's just, I can't fathom it sometimes. It's just too much for me to, it's overwhelming sometimes. Then trouble began when Jay-Z allegedly started hitting on Riri and had an affair with her. Well, Rihanna's publicist also said that they came up with the rumor to push Rihanna's career by saying in an email, the PR stunt that I did was out of desperation to help break upon the replay. It was reckless and I didn't think it was going to work. I was just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what would stick. The publicist also said that they didn't think it would be that big of a story, but seeing beyond say suffer and knowing that people were profiting from speculations and opinions about her really turned his stomach. Really? I know that publicists have been paid before to say such things, but anyway, it's also been said that when Jay-Z and Beyonce realized that Riri was rising too fast, they literally tried to sabotage her career. Reportedly, Jay-Z went behind Rihanna's back and leaked her album Anti prematurely to help prop up his wife Beyonce's formation. Anti leaked on Tidal, the streaming service who was owned by the Carters, earlier than it was expected to, which led to Rihanna releasing it herself, offering up free download codes for fans to hear the album without paying for it. Then, at the titled press conference around the same time, an insider talked about what was going on behind the scenes, saying, they refused to stand next to each other or even speak with each other. Handlers and coordinators went to great lengths to keep the divas happy. The whole show was carefully choreographed and these two had almost nothing to do with each other. But guess what? Even after that malicious move, in January 2023, Anti had spent 350 weeks on the Billboard 200, making it the first album by a black woman artist to reach that milestone in the chart's history. Anyway, back to the relationships. Yes, Jay-Z is more influential and more powerful than ASAP Rocky, but the way he controls Bay, ASAP could never. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Isn't it also weird that Beyonce and Rihanna have never collaborated on a song, even though it would make a lot of sense for them to collaborate, given how closely they both worked with Jay-Z. Like Beyonce has collabed with Nicki Minaj and even Megan Thee Stallion. And don't even start with the argument that they have and collaborated because they have different brands. Them having different sounds isn't an excuse for them not to collab, because usually the whole point of a collab is bringing together artists with different backgrounds and merging their sounds. Plus, both Rihanna and Bay have done songs with artists who have different sounds from theirs, so that's not an excuse. Something that makes more sense is that Beyonce and Rihanna haven't collaborated because Beyonce can't stand Rihanna. Clearly, there are quite a number of reasons why Bay apparently can't stand Rihanna. But obviously, there are people who also say that Rihanna is not even on Beyonce's level and can never compare to Bay. Like one person even wrote on Twitter, Rihanna is not original, nor creative. Rihanna doesn't have a sound. She sings whatever is given to her. She's barely top 30 in most daily streamed artists. She does have hits, that's mainly it. It's easy to pull in a ton of streams when you've heavily playlisted your catalog. Do you agree? Or do you think Beyonce can't stand Rihanna because she just got better than her? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.